Hey, welcome to my channel again, where we make things in Webflow and hope they turn out good. My name is Casey Katalpas. I am a freelance web designer and developer and current winner of the studio called Casey Crack Creative, where we do web design and development primarily with no code tools like Webflow. And I had a client reach out to me recently and they were like, hey, can you make a thing where if you like take a slider and you move it, it'll show you like a certain amount of things. And it was for a charity thing. Like if you donate this amount, you'll have this amount of outcome. And I thought that was a really good idea. And I've seen it, I feel like on the internet, but I didn't see any like clonables in Webflow or any way how to do it easily on the internet. So I thought that we would make something like that today. I don't know really what the correct type of, of name for this kind of thing would be. I guess it would be like a dynamic range slider, but with like visual output too. Maybe that's what we'll call it. I don't know. I do sort of have a prototype for this build, but I don't have it designed out at all. So I figured I would just do this on camera and that would be kind of a fun exercise for us to do. Uh, this is just a fake client. This isn't real. The client that reached out about that, the project didn't get picked up, but I was like, hey, that either way, that should probably exist somewhere in the Webflow community somewhere. So I thought I would make that. And that's what we're gonna do today. So I'm gonna show you kind of what I've been thinking about so far here. Is it gonna open? Is it gonna open? There we go, baby. So here in Figma, this isn't exactly a wireframe. I started designing it and then I got tired. So this is, I guess, like a high fidelity mock-up, um, but I do want to design it out a little more. But to give you a sense of functionality, you would sort of get to this landing page and you would drag this little slider. And then if it's $5, it helps one student get a certain amount of supplies. If it's $10, it goes to two. And so that math just keeps applying the more you drag this little slider across. So I thought, you know, it's a good way to kind of give people a sense of how many people they're helping for their dollar. And maybe this calculation could apply to other things too. Um, but I kind of base this off of the charity Donors Choose here in the US, which helps um, directly fund teachers in classrooms. So I thought that might be a, a fun little plug here. So I'll make this donate button go to, to Donors Choose. I knew that for this project, we are gonna have to have a range slider and connect that range slider to some sort of output here with um, some kind of image. And to do that, we'll need to do some JavaScript, which I have already done. Um, sorry, I didn't record that bit, but it did take a while for me to figure it out because I'm not like inherently a, a code person, thus the no code situation. But um, I'll show you kind of how that works out here. This is what it looks like in Webflow right now. Um, I literally grabbed this slider from w3.com, just the HTML embed for a slider. Um, so that's all that is here for for that piece. Yeah, so this is the range slider itself. Um, and then W3 had some extra CSS that you could put in to, to style it. So this is kind of where I will be styling the thing itself. I would like to put a little image on it to, to drag it across, but we can... We'll see if I can figure that out because I don't know if I can. And so for each of these little elements, they have IDs attached to them so that I can target them in the JavaScript. So if you look at this HTML embed, um, the ID is my range. On this one, if you check here, it's output, but the class is important there. Also, this little guy right here that changes has an ID too. So that number can change as we adjust the slider and then that number can be read to adjust the number of images all that to say that if i go to here and you are in this page it automatically is at five um one is automatically shown but when you adjust it it changes to the dollar amount to the number of little students here um, and if i drag it all the way to zero none show up this is my code. I borrowed most of it from somebody else, which is what you do when you don't know code very well and you're just trying 
to figure it out as you go. So let's see if, if I can actually explain everything that's going on here. So up here I'm declaring my variables and I'm just kind of grabbing the elements that are currently in Webflow and assigning them to different variables in JavaScript. Uh, my range is the slider, demo is the output, students is the number of students that that dollar amount represents. So demo and student number are gonna interact a lot. And plural is just the S I put at the end of students if the number of students is more than one. Here are the backpacks. So those little circles that are there right now. Next, I'm just setting some defaults when the page loads. Um, and next is where the magic happens. This is all the, 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 the functiony stuff. So the important thing about this code is calculation. So calculation is the number of students in this case, but basically it's the number we're trying to represent with our little images and the number we're trying to figure out by sliding this slider around. And for this project, $5 equals one student. So we're gonna take this value, divide it by five, this is gonna round it to the nearest whole number, and that is the calculation number that we are looking for. Um, and for everything else down here is how we are going to adjust the images, adjust the text to correspond to whatever our slider is saying. So here, single image is that little circle we have for now and what we're gonna change later on in the design. Um, this down here is telling us if it's just one, um, don't put an S after students. If it is more than one, then add the S. Um, and down here, it is telling us if, oh, this is the thing where we're showing or hiding the backpacks. Um, I think it's still gonna be backpacks. Um, so if you're copying this, feel free to change that variable to whatever you want it to be. Um, but yes, this is what is being shown by these two things down here. So basically, now that you've seen my hot code mess, what I really wanna do is uh, make it look nice because this is not cute. Now, I don't have a ton of inspiration here. I was trying to, I have more stuff on this Figma board where I was like, maybe I'll do illustration, give it kind of a more childish fun look. Um, but what I got interested in seeing work here is I've seen a lot of trends recently where instead of like illustrated icons, they use like actual images in the file to use as icons. Um, so I kind of want to try that and maybe add some here, um, give this background some kind of interesting feature to it, um, and just tie it all together so that we can develop it into something nice. So I am going to do that now. seeing quite what I want. I want like this, but I don't pay for it. I should yeah, maybe I should just center 
probably not gonna get that crazy. Um, I kind of want to do something silly like this, something like kind of kind of wild, kind of crazy. Like I like this look a lot. I don't know if it's too Barney. I've been seeing it a lot of places. What if that though? What if that though? If we have like, <laughs> like that. Or is there like a cuter, like a money bags? I would kind of like that if, could we do that though? I don't see like, nah. Oh, it would be kind of cute though. <laughs> it's so weird. Okay, hold on, moment of truth. Let's see if it works. Oh my god no it looks weird does it does it look weird like a little uh it just doesn't read well yeah i'm just gonna keep it what it was whatever i like this i think this is gonna work good um cool nice let's develop it <laughs> okay let's do it It works, sort of, but not really. Um, okay, I can make this work. I can make this work. It's fine.
What did I mess up? Did I mess up anything? Oh! I did it! Except I'm gonna have to fix this. Also, I don't know how I feel about this extending beyond. So we have our image. Our image is in our wrapper. And this is what it looks like when all of them are there. And it goes way outside the page, which we don't want it to do. So our image wrapper probably should also be within our slider wrapper. No, that's not it. Actually, the content wrapper needs to be, have a minimum width or a max width. That might be it. Was that the solve? Hey, hey, hey. <gasps> it is the solve. Oh my God, that's so fun. Ah, here we are. It's the thing we made. <laughs> In the last 30 minutes after I stopped recording, I changed this to be a little coin instead of the dollar. I did like the dollar better, but I couldn't, just to make this part pink, there was like, I couldn't get this little thing to overflow. I'm sure somebody who's better at code can figure that out, but I just, I just couldn't do it. Um, so this is how it works now. Um, and you can calculate your impact amount and you can see it here with the little backpacks and there they go. And it's so cute. Um, and then this leads to a little donate link. So if anybody wants to use this, one of their projects. Uh, if this video is up, that means it is a clonable on my webflow account so you can play with this all you want. And yeah, this was really fun to make. I hope you enjoyed watching it and watching me make it. Uh, so yeah, till next time. Have a good one.